You can download the archive from GitHub if you do not want to use Git. But if you want to use Git, you need to install it first. To do this, go to the Git website and download the version for your Windows operating system. Once you've downloaded the Git installer, run it and follow the installation wizard prompts to install Git on your system. For the installation, use the default parameters. To check the version of git you've installed, open the command prompt and type git version. Next, you'll need to install docker. To do this, open your web browser and search for docker download. Then, go to the docker website and download docker desktop for Windows. Once the Docker installer is downloaded, run it and follow the prompts to install Docker on your system. You'll need to reboot your computer after the installation is complete. Let's check the results. To check the version of Docker you've installed, open the command prompt and type, Docker, version. You can also check the version of Docker Compose by typing, Docker Compose, version. Now, you're ready to install CVAT. To do this, go to the CVAT GitHub repository. And copy the repository link. Open the command prompt and run the command, git clone, followed by the repository link to download the CVAT code to your system. Navigate to the CVAT directory in the command prompt. And run the command, docker compose up D, to start the CVAT docker container. This process may take some time, so be patient and wait until it's finished. To ensure that the local version of CVAT works correctly, it's crucial to wait until the server is up and running. Now run the CVAT server. When you run the CVAT server for the first time, you have to create a superuser account. Enter your desired login and password to create the account. That's it. CVAT is now available on your local machine at localhost, 8080.
annotate faster and with higher quality using CVAT. CVAT is an open source platform for preparing datasets at scale. You can find more information at CVAT.ai.